All right, Jules, let's turn our attention down to central defenders. Oh, that's tough. It is tough because I think so much here depends on context and system and who their partners are. Maybe some people sneaking in this list on reputation yeah, like a little you bit. You would have had a Cherby. Is that Cherby on your, on, on your top 10? Probably. I had a Cherby number three, actually, <laughs> after... No, I did, after, after Bastogne and Darmian. Yeah, but um, all right, number one, Ruben Diaz. I don't know. It's a clear cut number one it is. in the sense that, well, no, but what I mean is, is it's, I find it hard to separate him from the players around him. Um, whether it's a Kanji, whether it's his new teammate, Josko Gvardiol. I do think when I look at this list, I don't have an argument with those two. I wonder about David Alaba, the year he had, what I still have him, what are we still having so high? high? Is he sliding me, a little? Think. Yeah, he's too high for me. Um, it is interesting. Saliba as well. Is that a little high, tremendous, tremendous beginning to the season? Then that bad injury. Do we know that the beginning of the season maybe wasn't? I mean, a the flash in the is, pan. It's August to end of February. Yeah, March. March, I think, was the injury against Sporting Portugal, or maybe late February. So but we assume still, he's going to be good as new when he comes back. Yeah, yeah. But what I mean is that you said beginning of yeah. the season. It's more than just the beginning. If you go right. from August to end of, of February. Uh, I think, yeah, it might be a little high, but I think when you see the potential, when you see how quickly he adapted to the Premier League, to Arsenal, even to the French national team at such a young age, you go like, okay, this is, there's no reason why, again, the sky is the limit for this guy. Why is really interesting is in that top five with Eda Militao, you, you have, okay, you've got Alaba, who is the, the most, the, the oldest one of all and experienced, but the rest is still very young. Yeah. And I think... Well, number should, six, Bono de Raujo, and Araujo, also if young. You, even, yeah, if, if, if you go all the way to six, actually, you're right, and add Bastoni, for example, then you have clearly the, the those, those centre-backs who are going to dominate, I think, for the next few years. Yeah, and I think this is this is there's a really strong generation of players. Definitely. Lissandro Martinez at eight, he's not old either, no, incidentally. No, no, that's true. Uh, King neither. Inevitably, we're going to wonder about Virgil van Dijk at, at seven. Yeah. Did he get in here on reputation? Yeah, because there's some people who would, might even argue that Konate is a better defender. Yeah, his his teammate. Yes, Liverpool. but if you take the experience and the the leadership as well, and the fact that you can also believe that because the team didn't perform that well, he suffered. He suffered from it. He suffered from the changes. He suffered from a midfield ahead of him that was not performing the way he should have had, and and a midfield that we were still not really sure exactly what kind of midfield it was. Then that's why his level dropped. Then we saw him in the Nations League at the end in June, for example, with, with the Dutch, where it was still not good. And that was not Liverpool. So maybe there's a worry there, but maybe seven is right because the seven plays shows the worry, but also shows the talent. And you're in a place where you think, okay, let's see next season. Let's see how he reacts to what was a bad campaign. And then we will know next season if he's maybe out of the top 10 or maybe higher or maybe at the same level. Uh, one guy who I think maybe ended up being penalized by his versatility, the fact that he had... Because he has kind of the worst combination of he had injuries, he's versatile, he played three different positions for his club. Uh, and so he's not on this list, and many might wonder about this is John Stones. Yeah. Uh, obviously, he played some in midfield and very, very well. Yeah. He played a little bit of right back, he played a little bit of center back. It's almost hard to make comparisons, but he doesn't end up here. Should he be? No, yeah, I mean, he. I think he's just outside of that top 10. Let's, let's call him in the, the 11th pick for John Stones. He will get into the top 10 if he can confirm the season that he just had on that kind of form and his ability and what, the way he's expressing his ability on the pitch. And then he will be a top 10 next season, there's no doubt. But again, I think a lot of us, and you, you and I, I think, agree on that, we we'll just give him a let's see. Okay, you're 11 for this season and maybe you, you it's a bit hard that you're not top 10, but let's see if you can make it in the top 10 by reproducing what you've done in the last few weeks. Well, thank you very much for watching ESPN on YouTube. For more sports highlights and analysis, be sure to download the ESPN app. And for live streaming, premium content, and let's not forget as well, ESPN FC, seven days a week. Subscribe to ESPN+. Plus.